Hello people, my name is Nixon Dyes and you are watching Smelly Cat and this is the very first Smelly Cat Quickies. What is Smelly Cat Quickies? This is what it is. Now a lot of you have already heard of the usual suspects when it comes to Middle Eastern brands like Ajmal, Armaf, Latafa, Swiss Arabian, Arabian Oud and the others. But Dubai is a heaven for perfume lovers and there are several smaller brands uh, that also have amazing alternatives and Smelly Cat Quickies is my sort of attempt to bring you those smaller brands, smaller only in terms of recognition but uh, in terms of the scents they're actually very very good at the price that you get them here in uh, the UAE. So with Smelly Cat Quickies I'm going to make shorter videos of the usual stuff that I do but concentrating on these houses that no one talks about. Some of you already know that I shop a lot from Samawa Global for local stuff as well uh, even for some niche brands and some designer brands I usually use their online store I just uh, hop by to their actual store and I buy a lot from them but what a lot of people don't know is that they also have their own in-house creation and they've called it amazing creation today I'm going to talk about three of them I've got their versions of Nicolai's Patchouli or Nicolai's Patchouli Intense uh, Hugo Boss Bottles, Oud Saffron and Killian's Moonlight in Heaven. Now I'll be very honest, I've tried their older creations of their in-house inspired fragrances but I wasn't really impressed with those. Nothing bad, they were very well priced at around 40 or 50 bucks uh, but they didn't wow me. Now they've come up with this whole new collection and this entire new line. The bottles are now 100ml and they've got their hands on some amazing oils so I picked uh, three of these and I'll talk about them today in this video first let's talk about moonlight in heaven uh, this is something that my wife picked up for herself because she always wanted the original but never really bought it because she's more price conscious than I am by that I mean uh, she's really conduce anyways she's really impressed with this one uh, I won't say it's very close to the original but uh, it does capture some of that floral notes and that basmati rice like nuttiness that you get uh, in the original uh, they've captured that quite well the only difference is it lacks that uh, juicy mango that you get uh, with the original this one lasts around six to seven hours on your skin but it sits a little close to your skin which actually most women's fragrances do now let's move to the two that I picked for myself. First I got their impression of Nicolai's Patchouli or Nicolai's Patchouli Intense. I've always had my eyes on buying the original but because it's a little pricey I couldn't do it. This I must say comes very 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 close to uh, the original. The other thing I would like to add is that I don't know if any other brand doing a clone of that one or doing an impression of that one you usually get your blue de chanel sauvages and all of that no one's really doing a nicolai patchouli intense clone not here in dubai at least so i grabbed it when i smelled it and this one smells very very close another thing is the performance <laughs> the original is a beast i remember when i tried the original uh, i sprayed it with a couple of other things that i also had in a blot of paper and it was in my living room and I could just keep getting uh, whiffs of it. Uh, this one does the same thing. This one lasts a good 10 hours and it projects like a beast. I was looking for something mandy like this, little barber shopish, old school and I'm very, very, I'm, I'm very happy with this. I'm going to wear this a lot. The third bottle I picked was their impression of Boss Bottled Oud Saffron or Oud Zafran. Uh, why did I pick this one? I actually did not like the original. There's something about it that just didn't stand out for me. It didn't really excite me. It smelled like, like something you'd get from a designer brand. With this one, however, they've made a few changes. I don't know whether that was intentional or the oil or the compounds that they got their hands on was already like that, but they've made really good changes in this one. Let's spray it. Very nice strong sprayer this is sweeter there's some sort of mango fig or i don't know apricot or something like a fruitiness in this one which 
the original lax even that has it and that i think comes from the saffron in that one but this one has like a juicy mango feel uh, and even the oud seems much smoother in this there's also a much sweeter natural feeling saffron in this one this also reminds me of an attar that i tried an oil that i tried at abdul samad al qureshi i'm not sure of the name i'm going to go there once again uh, try that and see if they compare as well again with this one the siage is heavy it lasts a good 7 to 8 hours on me with good projection in the first couple of hours now since it's an in house creation they'll definitely have your crowd pleasing blue chanel sauvages and they'll have your usual uh, tuscan leather italian leather african leather but i would suggest you pay them a visit and find these hidden gems find stuff like nicolai's patchouli intense which no one really clones uh, find these little twists that they've done in uh, the fragrance itself intentionally or unintentionally pay them a visit go to their store they have so much to choose from i think around 80 to 100 fragrances if i'm not mistaken so pay them a visit and if you can't don't worry uh, call them up maybe whatsapp them i'm going to leave a whatsapp number of john who's the sweetest guy in the world whenever i want to pick something up i just whatsapp him and then he sends me a payment link and then i buy my fragrances from there so check with them because they've recently started shipping worldwide with DHL if i'm not mistaken so i'll leave his whatsapp number if you want uh, a couple of quantities i think the price is the same for all of them uh, some started around 79 uh, for the usual stuff and then some i think 90 or 95 grams if i'm not mistaken i think you only need to pay for shipping when you are uh, shipping outside the uae uh, and they ship with DHL so you're just paying that shipping price let me know if you want more of such smelly cat quickies when i'm talking of these uh, dubai local dubai or uae houses that no one knows about this uh, samawa like i spoke about there's sasan perfumes albeit al dimashqi a lot of these so if you have something specific in mind let me know and i'll make a really quick smelly cat quickies video on them until next time keep smelling amazing